There's only a couple lines left of the 19th chapter of Wise Child. Um, Juniper's been arrested. Cormac, who I always confuse with Coleman. I kind of do a more of a marble mouth voice for Cormac, but kind of messed it up before. I'm going to try and move back into that. Cormac and Wise Child are hanging out in Cormac's hut, and Wise Child knows she is going to get arrested too. So not too much left to go. You know I would do anything for Juniper, he said. And for you too. I took Cormac's hand in gratitude and found comfort in his brown eyes. In a way it's a relief it's come, I said. It was awful waiting, feeling all the people had turned against Juniper. They were frightened, he said. Frightened of Finnan, frightened of the Inquisition. Otherwise they would support Juniper, who has cared for them as she cared for me. They will let themselves be led like a pack of dogs, I said, quoting Coleman. It was comforting to sit there for a little in the room when I had often sat with Juniper, and to feel that Cormac loved her as much as I did, I sat with my head on his my head I sat with my head on my hand, trying to take in the fact that Juniper had been arrested, and must even now be being interrogated by the Inquisitor, or shut in the tiny prison that usually held drunks. In my mind, I sent a message of love to her. As it grew later, however, I knew that I could not postpone my return any longer. Cormac and I threw our arms around each other in a long, comforting hug, and then slowly and shrinking inwardly, I made my way to the White House. I approached it through the yard, circled it, and looked through the window into the big room, caught a glimpse of Philan's sandy head. And that's the end of chapter 19.